afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, riveting, and amazing propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda, the only science and source of communist to entertainment. Off here to a one versus one on crossroads. In the north, it is Tiramiso fighting for the Red Army, the Soviet Union. The 10th Tank Corps here with airborne troops, guard rifle, and guard motor. That's inside this Von Ivan fighting for the German Army, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the 3rd SS Panzer Division with Mechanized Assault sort of right off the bat. Here we got Assault Gunners right away there, obviously. MG42, whereas the Dalton's Mechanized Assault sort of Group, Stug 3Es, Light Artillery Badges, and Tiger Tanks with double panzer gunner bolts and infantry. So we're off to the race again. Always please uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. That'd make me awfully happy. And of course, keep finding the YouTube algorithms. And of course, a big thanks to my Patreon supporters, the you know wonderful people who keep supporting me with their hard-earned money. Big thanks to you. You're part of my company, heroes. And you too can join the ranks by pledging on Patreon yourself, or even just popping in a donation via PayPal. Anyways, brief messages aside, we got Pusher Eastwards for Tidemis with the constantly up there and gears on their own some. And we got Samix and the Carplan already. Thumbs up there, makes it easy to defend down the road. Phenomenon heading eastwards here with the Assault Grenadiers and the MG42. We'll have to see if it goes, but probably more sort of going to We might see a fast tech here from Van Ivan, third consequence there for Tiramiso. Got the second assault group squad ready there for Van Ivan or Van Ivan. Pioneers holding up their consequence east was there, going to go for deep flank, go hit the fuel point, of course. Will they be ready for what waits them in the shadows? Comps got sandbags up as well. They got Thero sandbag nearby Tiramiso, Grand Western Point. Third front of the team here for Tiramiso. Pioneers MB42 following up a nice little tactical formation there for Van Ivan. Makes it hard here for Tidemis to just fight against that. Of course, a large formation could easily deal with it. Contraground points, Seeming West was there. You're probably seeing another assault in this court here soon. Now, a fast tech then for fast Panzer DSC. Again, a strategy that is somewhat common here for Baron players. Basically, just go for light tier 1 involving calling troops, skipping the infantry coming entirely. Then, fast tier 2 into fast Panzer Gunners. And then, maybe other fast half tech or fast armored car. Fourth consequence there for Tiramiso. Consequent move towards the center. Bart White and the sandbags, but they got assault going about here. Worth noting so far, the assault gun is, despite the name, has so far not really been the ones actually doing any attacking. It's actually been the pioneers and the MG42, and that's not exactly an assault heavy machine gun team. Though technically, heavy machine gun teams are actually meant to be used offensively in German doctrine. Little fun fact there. Contrary about here, it's got the western point there, goes shots funneling fight with the soldiers, but they're not caught in a great position around the center. We've got Westwood here, and you just gonna have to retreat there. We got taken away the phenomenon, he'll be gonna follow up with the Panzer Gunner Squad. I imagine, of course, in a pinch, he could call in another Assault Gunner Squad. I think he, he's either stalling and needs to back off because I was just gonna lose to the Assault Gunner since they have very terrible mid to long range DPS, and it's really only up close, they're really good, obviously, but beyond that, they are just not very good. Panzer cannot be called in with Phenomenon. Any mechanized assault groups he may be planning will be some time off. We're going to push up here, Pioneers and the Assault Gunners, but they again struggling a bit to get into effective range. We've got Molotov up from Tinamis as well to help further fight against troops. There you go, Assault Grenades on the conscript, doing some damage, but not enough down here. Could maybe go for a push there, constantly about here. Panzer Gunner here, halfway down there for Fenivan. Feel like he probably should have been more aggressive with the Assault Gunners left the Pioneers. So, sort of back caps will try to get more sort of in the uncomfortable spaces there. Versus Tiramiso, rather than the vice versa situation we got there. And they got here Panzer Gunner Squad ready there for Faniva and the German Army, the 3rd SS. One of the three original SS Panzer Divisions. Also, one of the SS Panzer Divisions with the highest casualties due to a rather fanatical and reckless behavior by the unit, causing incredibly high casualties. All of a sudden, the division never really building up a serious core of ex, you know, veteran troops. Certainly prove uh, detrimental in the longer run. Gram Neeson Point T and Gnees Bedding C building mine C, I believe, on the car point. Yes, indeed, it's also got a for the conscripts. Comes with that close will lose the Pantagon ideas. One and one Pantagon tend to win most engagements there. Conscript going back here, Pantagon could further pursue. Troops are reinforcing. Got a medic bunker there on the way for Von Ivan. Pants they're pursuing. Bit of a harassment in the east by Tiramisu. Thumbs up there. They'll for now and so slouch here with this assault troops. So only quite a few there assembled. Troops in the east was there. Fun fact about the Raffin, that's probably one of the reasons of its major success, if you will, at least in their performance, was probably due to the, after the loss at Stalingrad, the Waffen SS was actually one of the few military units that was actually able to retain an extra infantry battalion, whereas regular army divisions, except for the one stationed in uh, Normandy, for example, around the you know, Atlantic you know, coast there, were actually expected to give up an infantry battalion in each of their regiments. So, for example, a Panzer Division you know, lost 
you know, effectively one third of all infantry available. They all effectively lost one third of the infantry available, just you know, rather nasty message there. But again, the Vathans has never had that, so they effectively just had a lot more infantry to spare per division, which certainly gave them some advantages. And it's one of those things that you never really see mentioned in a lot of like sources, like you generally talk about the war. Like you have to really read into it, like before you actually find mentions that. Hang on, that's apparently was a thing. So, bit of a little note there. That's what's going up here before from one side. Might send a salt grenade there. Basically, he's chucking front part to the door. Maybe not. What a nice bait there, since the probably going to take some contract out there. Since he would not be able to run out the other door, since that run into the MB42. Oh wait, pushing Wes was here with the punch on the squad. He may actually be setting up here for Mechanized Soul Group, which could catch to the miss a bit off guard. Meanwhile, he's taking up there rushing for a T70 here versus Fun Ivan. Obviously knowing that without any snares from uh, Fun Ivan, it's gonna be a lot easier for the T70 to win back, even with a pack 40 on the field. Samex up in the center mine goes off near the Panzer squad there. Very good. It's, it's looking like he might be going for the Mechanized Assault Group someplace when they go for Mechanized Assault. They do like the Mechanized Assault groups, as they can put on a lot of great pressure versus the opponents if handled correctly. Got the Western Point, he can't go out there for Tito Miso. Losing the Eastern Fuel Point again. But he can soon respond with that mechanized assault group, that 250 dash 1. Half tech filled with Panzer Grenadier, and there we go. Rolling out there for the glory of Deutschland. Eastern Point, there we got Sandbags being laid down there. Rushing eastwards. Got mines down there for Tito Miso. Field gun for Tito Mises. Obviously expecting some sort of light vehicle, but will he be ready for the Mechanized Assault Group? Oh, there comes to crowd it. Quickly falling back. Obviously, they know if they try to the ground for any longer, they definitely was being wiped. Rushing through here, getting a lot of damage, and only down to half health. Other conflict retreating. He's probably not coming to the base, probably due to worry about getting hit for the next tank grenade inside the base, but even then, getting a lot of damage in there already. And threatening Tito Mises' infantry in the field. And of course, he's going to have to research the anti tank grenades pretty swiftly. There you go, bit of aggressive 250 1 half check play. The 251 or 250 after general part of the 8 Panzer Division's reconnaissance battalion, where they folk form be used for the, well, some of the at least uh, infantry there. Little fun fact there. Typically, though, they will basically just be used like in second armored Panzer Grenadier Battalion in the division. And the sort of base, sort of, shall say, slightly more elite, since typically within a German division, pioneers and then scout troops are generally considered slightly above. The second, shall we say, the regular in terms of like you know experience and you know skill. So little fun fact there. Quick going for the cop on there and hitting up the uh, def the lockdown of defensive position there. Aggressive push there, flipping about the grenade assault in the conscript, trying to get them uh, some harm in there. Doing some light damage, nothing. So he's got eventually one there. And this assault gun's pushed back. West side, he's got before with the assault as well there. So there you go, disrupting to the fuel flow from the west. Nice push there. Of course, need to be careful here with it. Still, with the field in the back, and you also need to be very careful as the half tech could quickly make very short work of them. We don't have anti tank grenades ready for Tito Miso, so we've got the T70. Willing to uh, risk the 250 after it that way a bit there in favor of just getting the T70 out faster, which honestly makes a lot of sense. But I meanwhile has no anti tank weapon, so theoretically he could try and take out the field gun and steal it. Or secure it, I mean. That's all we're searching in there. West Side got a few of them fought over. Half tech hits the mine. A damaged engine, need to get to safety there. Maybe try that. Going here, could be launched here. The field gun, punch moving out there. Get balled out the field gun for the reason. Saying a hard time shooting there. Go, bang, grenade goes off there. Clearing out the field gun, chromos to the man, except for two. And they get hosed down by the assault. The teaser is ready here. And Phenomen currently has no anti tank weapons ready. He's fixing up the half track there. Troops trying to close it. He has ventures to get to reinforce the troops near the half track. He's also rushed up here and his tech himself there. We'll have to see what he gets out of that. And you need to send a heavy fire punch because the soldiers map. They could get a wipe in the treating comes squad nearby, but the T70 is a problem here as he has no way of stopping it. He has no Panzer Strix, no Panzer Faust. He's grabbing the field gun right under the T70, holding it back to the half track so he can force and then trying to take out the team. But the MD14 with the car pumps well, they're making it harder here for Tito Miso to reinforce the change. An incredibly spicy situation to put it mildly. I don't think you've been seeing this in a lot of companies, two matches, but here we are. With Van Hyven, Van Hyven, uh, Van Hyven, Van Hyven at the helm. And truly getting up maneuver, they're getting too much damage here. Field turning around, they're getting reinforcing still. Martin used them to deal with the nearby troops there. 
see something a lot down to the half track. There you go, gets a hit in. Still, the field gun is not reinforcing fast enough. There you go, gets cleared out. There's something that's routed. Probably should disengage the half to get out of there as well. There is he gonna try? He's going for Panther Strike now, but I don't think get there in time. Though I admire the uh, courage here. And there you go, can't get the half to out of there. I'll wait in brutal engage. Next season, well, ultimately losing the Eastern Fuel Point here to the Mises. The fuel damage isn't quite significant, but. Absolutely brutal engagement with high casualties on both sides and Fnatic are calling in the Stu 3 e in a desperate bid to stop the T-70 for completely undoing everything is down there. And the half takes he even, he ignored the half takes, the wretched Fnatic realised this, he could actually get the half take to safety, which would be really punishing for Tiramisu down the road, but no, I think he's forgotten about it, it's going to get destroyed there. Bit of a shame there, bit of a shame, there's a good 250 half take there, and World Hand, they can actually quite effective tools, so bit of a shame there. Tiramisu that goes here for guard rifle with K1s, guard rifle infantry, sub machine guns, heavy howitzers, and the R2 Sturm make attack. K I still here trying to hit the T and it doesn't work out though. Panzer is ready with a Panzer Strike. Strictly enforcing healing. He will need to build a support corner and then get some more armor. Good lord, quite a match already. Stugi going for the T70 and it's gonna try and take up. We got the field gun nearby. Panzer gonna they have routed. Need to cover the Stugi. Force it! Oh, he was trying to help, help the team move into line of fire there. He might never lose the pants because he needs to get the other troops in there. I think there's a good chance it's going to be a wipe here on Fnaven unless he gets very lucky. Could happen, but it could also very well not happen. And there you go. Wiped. Sting blow there to Fnaven. And he third is uh, Stugi there. Half eight switches one east side. We got the soldiers moving up there. Eight kills. Vetsy two Stugi moving up there. Troops reinforcing healing. Reinforcing. Guard trapping out of the team. This was lost an infantry squad by the way here. Guess it was down here. Maybe the soldiers took care of those. So losses continue to be incredibly high on both sides. It's Ivan's incredibly reckless and unorthodox tactics. Ultra proved to be quite efficient as obviously no one's damn well expecting that. So Paul McCraft there. Fine way there. Salt gonna well Pants pushing forward to back up the Stugi. Bone grenade off there, further kills there. Pants with gaining ready to guard from taking further cash. He's down Freeman. DP light machine's almost done. Panzer Jaeger's moving in to try and take it out. I think he needs to treat them now. Oh! Almost got the T-70! Ah, oh, he dropped the Panzer Shrek! He dropped the Panzer Shrek and he's got nothing to pick it up. He's about to lose the Stoogie as well. Got him, Himmel. Got the Eastern Point. He needs more infantry. He needs more armor. He needs more everything. A Panzer Four at this point might actually make sense. That on Ostvind might also be a thing to consider there for Fnaven. Grab the Eastern Point. This soldier's got the Panzer Four on the way there for Fnaven. That said, he also badly needs infantry. He's got, what, got one assault squad and the Panzer Eagles left. Meanwhile, we got here Tidemis and Gnis now with a Panzer Shrek. T-70 to fixing. 16 kills. Red me two. We got 474 to 310. So far, Fernando's got a nice big two point lead over Tidemiso and the Aret Army. Probably still stunned at what's been going on there. Stugi slowly being fixed up there. Close to into one of this venerable piece of. Well, assault artillery. MG4 holding up there. Veterans you won there. Two kills in service of Das Vaterland. Bit of quiet for once as both sides are licking their wounds. In particular, Van Ivan has got a lot of wounds to lick, effectively. Continuity's here. Right into the MG42. And quickly getting suppressed there. There you go. Panda ready for Van Ivan and the German army. Stugi almost good to go. Could add in assault committees just for the hell of it. Also, should upgrade these with a veteran score leader for that sixth member which of course also makes them harder to kill but also increases their capture speed which is you know not bad Ali Pantwell setting out the pin machine they added more guardsmen for Tiramis replacing the conscript losses with more veteran troops Pantwell moving in there probably expecting the T-10 to go for the MD-42 his prediction proved to be pretty much on point we got the field gun nearby could find to the rear here of the Pantwell and he hits a mine right from the field gun. This is terrible for Van Ivan. This is terrible. Adding the pinnacle machine, the match calls are paying off beautifully there. And now the engineers with the pantry could prove to be the nail in the coffin of the Panda 4 already now. Punishing as slightly, as always, too eager for Ivan. Meanwhile, Stugin was with engaging the constant heavy cover. Any 4 2 there. Panzer Jaeger's moving in there. Panda 4 kaput. My god, it is kaput. Teaser rolling down there. But for now, thought was a trap for Tiramiso. It turned out to be a vice versa instead. It was Tiramiso tramming for Nyman's Panther 4 and destroying that. A swift and stinging reversal there to Fnaven. Panzer Gnade squad number two on the way from Stugi. They sneak up, trying to perhaps get a re hit in the T 70. Panzer Egg's in trouble here. Stugi shoots and doesn't hit. Panzer Egg's though don't hit either. 
And we got a grenade here, some guards called flanks then before to the nice flank here, but Tito Mitsu Panzer is right as well there. A soldier's moving back, another Panzer called, they almost done, fourth from Ivan. And he might lose the Panzer Jaegers, which would be a quite spicy blow there to him. He's going to need more armor though. Going for more Panzer Shreks. A soldier's pushing the guards, grabbing them. Field gun moving out, then just have this two he veterans on that one, by the way. Could see another Panzer. So going to be a white. Yes, indeed. For now, the cash needs to continue to be absolutely sky high. Stu G on the way to help deal with the T70. Troops being out there. Tidamisa, though, could soon take out. But until then, he's actually slightly at the mercy of Fanavan's armor rush. The only thing that's so far going out there is getting Fanavan's armor preservation so far. That's proven to be anything but formidable, along with his infantry preservation. Stu G shoots there. He's in hit when he's got company already. Panzer is going to go back there. Stu 3G almost done. He should reinforce these full. And of course, get more infantry. He badly needs more infantry. He should also, if possible, consider some mines here and there to maybe, like, you know, catch up some of Tidamiso's armor as well. Good hit there. We got tech for Tidamiso. Mechanist armor company got in the side of his base. Stu Gi there taking further hits. Betson's 1 there. Close to Betson 2. Stu G almost done. Enemy 14 new crew here. We got 435s of 302. Match continues to be absolutely bananas. More engineers there for Tito Mitsu, grab the eastern fuel point here. Got the cough point there, got the western victory point almost. There's a little back and forth action here between the two sides. Should add the pinamax into the stew. Gonna call Super Kev not to rush it in too blindly here. We saw what happened to the Panzer Thor. We very much saw what happened to the Panzer Thor. Garpton are going for the Pioneers. Need to be a swift retreat here, I think, from Von Ivan. Troops sitting out there. Stu, any neat repairs. And can't because the Pani's all the way over there. Looks like they do survive. Heading east was the Panzer Jaegers. In for the company with the Comps, they quickly retreat. Let's realize something bad is coming. Stu G charging through the center. Of course, the mark of mines. But also, of course, the field gun, which very much hard counter the Stu 3G. And for Niven, doesn't go rat sauce. Instead, he just blazes right past it. Calls in the teleport. Calls for the engineers for the Panzer Shrek nearby. Pretty big age for the students. About to get knocked out by the Garten as well. Ah, uh, looks like he narrowly avoids that. Really a bit too reckless there by Phenomen. Bit too reckless, but in this case he did not get too badly punished. Assault is dealing with the Garson up close there. The Garson have no chance against the might of the Storm Grenadier with MP40s. More punts are going to be there for Phenomen. East side here being gobbled up once more by Tidamiso. Tisa being fixed up. Stu G and E. Nani repairs, and he's only got one Pioneer squad to go between the two. Got the Western Victory Point, he's and sighting sees to once more by the Red Army. Swiftly advancing there. Do we have any conscript mergers? Yes. No, nope, no. Nope. Looked it like it briefly. As it's going past at higher speeds, but it was not to be. MG4 doing westwards here. Good wind falls in healing. Can go for T34 from 6 now. Of course, he may be more tempted to go for the K1 here versus Van Ivan. Certainly would not blame him. There you go. Fresh Panzer Squad done. And again, he still needs more infantry. He needs more pioneers. He needs more everything. The only thing he does need more of is enemies to kill. So there you go. Better quiet again. This for now prepares for another furious and slightly insane off the wall assault. Constantly was for taking out flank there for now's position by the cemetery. Thumbs up. Looks like he's launching a larger scale assault. And I don't think for is ready to receive that. You start this going making good progress. He could, of course, try and go for another Stu G soon. Getting Suze up to give him some more punches as enemy armor. May have a chance to quickly take out the T-70. Got the pop thing for two. More mines for Tidamisa. Very good there. In particular, that's the sort of style of attack here that Phenomen likes to commit. Mines are great. Stu G good to go. Need to retreat that enemy for two. Now going for the car pony with the Panzer is in the squad there. Until he called in again here. But for now on the guard squad. Not on the conscript, but the fuel pump, by the way. Stu G being repaired. More pioneers than financial sets repairs. Very good. Quick shot there. And there we go. Half health gone. But the unit still stands. Although Dimitri probably can't hear anything anymore. Panzer Eagles here as the guard squad. Could do with some armor support. At least the other Panzer squad going to flank you. Otherwise, I don't think this is a great engagement for the Panzer Jaegers. I do not think this is a great engagement at all. T something East was there. Stu G is almost fixed up. Troops reinforcing healing. Panzer is right in the Panzer Squad. They also will need to retreat, I think, right about now. Meanwhile, Tidamis is closing on that K1 heavy tank. He has the manpower. He just needs the fuel. Sandbags up for the Western victory point. 
We've got 372 versus 302. Still resetting east was there. That just didn't see too very, very close. Panzer is there reinforcing. Guardsman in fact works as well. Got Mines on here from Tidamiso. And there you go, K1 heavy tank on the way, plus another SIS 3 divisional field gun here. He's caught laying down mines, and oh, nearly avoided the Stugi landing just as the mine finished, would have been pretty much been, I think, game over for the Indians in question. You need to go for that Stugi, he could have gone for another Panther 4 as well. He could again try and go for an Osprey, no, I think, with a K1 about to hit him. Obviously, once he sees that, the Stugi number 2 would be, I think, the optimal choice here. He is caught here, he's moving up there. Grand Bat Eastern Field Point here, Stu E keeps on fighting, has gained the T2, there's Stu D moving up here to shoot through the hedges. Nearly misses the T70, was really close to getting a hit there, and he's routed. Actually gets a shot through, then the 27 kills the T70. That T70's just been an absolute god here for Tillamese on the battlefield versus Fanon. I mean, an absolute monster. Is he saving up for a Tiger Tank? Okay, looks like he isn't. I hope he isn't, because that'd be. I think a sign that Fnaven's going to come completely off the cliff there. And there you go, Panzer IV there for Fnaven. A Panzer Kampfwagen for you. Ground the Eastern Victor Point, still need the Eastern Field Point. Eastern almost good to go. Maxim here for Tina Misa, deal with Fnaven's infantry tactics. Panzer is out on the only one for the heavy cover. And there you go, K1 arriving. Right into the line of fire there, Panzer Jaegers, if they could hit. Until he called in this clustered up choke point. Very good there. Getting some light damage in the K1, but nothing significant otherwise, unfortunately, for him. But great for Tidamiso. Panther form is done. He's got that Stu G. There's still the field gun to be mindful of, which could clearly, of course, do heavy damage to the Stu G. Panther for form is done. Grenade exchange here. Ooh, yeah. Heavy losses on both sides. I do think Tidamiso gets slightly hit on that one, since he took fewer casualties. Conquer out the western point here and Panda 4 number 2 ready there for von Ivan. Deutschland. Stu G there holding up. Troops swung free through the center under Tidamisa's command. More mines being laid down there. Thumbs up. For now, we to get some minesweepers up. Panda 4 blazing through the center. Stu G getting flanked with the Gaspin. Maxim setting up there. Anti tank grenade off there. Need to get the armor here to safety and get some imp support in. Be, that's when he works within Stu G or Stu E, I mean. Gets a damage in for anti tank grenade. Could get hit by the field if he's not careful. And the east, we got the MD4 to the K1, need to shoot the MD4 to now. Just intense fighting here, at least seems to be like just on and off from the battles. Like suddenly there's a lot of quiet and all of a sudden just get things get very intense. Need to pull back that Panda 4 now for Niven. Scheiser! Whew, that was ridiculously close. There's Stuggy looking to slow down the advance of the K1 here. Westward, Stuggy keeps pulling back, punch the eggs there, try and coming fire then to keep that pulling the Stuggy out of there. Another hit there, close to the victory two there, might like to be able to take up the KV1, oh KV1 misses again, might be a chance for, K oh it bounces, and now he's getting buttoned up there, he might like to have to use a uh, heat shell here, shot, bounces, against the CG, and he gets the main gun though, he gets the main gun, Tim misses, K1 could go down to the might of the storm, get shots, aus but now we got a film in that's going to block I think the final pursuit, then the final shot there, unless he gets very lucky, and he gets it, he gets the hit, the K1 combusts, Assault gun is punching the gun, he's going for the field gun, they're getting a host down the machine gun and the T-70 to get the Stu G to safety. Get it out of there for Ivan. Hook sook. And he loses the Stu G, of course he loses the Stu G. Of course he does. Another Stu G there for Fnaven, punishment west side. Round back the eastern side, there we go, 279 versus 302, still. And he fought with the T-70 light tank, 30 kills in that monstrosity. Panther forming got the heavily damaged Stugi, machine repairs. Still hasn't gone for mine speed, which of course also assists with repair speed. So it seems like a no-brainer to me. And his mindset by the Eastern Fuel Punk got worked there by Tidamiso. For now, he's trying to flank, but the machine is a problem. As always for the infantry, he could try and call in the light to the flash it out. Of course, get the Stugi into working condition, get to deal with it. There you go. Liked it. Infantry got shuts. Barrage called in there. Decent hit there, but nothing serious either against Tidamiso. There you go, Panzer is flanking and force retreat on the Maxim. Further troops from the west was there, and there you go. Thresh Duke 3G ready for Fnaven. Panda Panda 4 being fixed up. Stu E good to go once more. Half fake to Vetsin 3 roughly. Gardening westwards. 
Jim is getting a lot of fuel compared to Phenom, but it's not too bad. I just was Stuggy opening up and the assist. Three divisional field gun gets a quick kill there. Stuggy about to give you the other field gun. Lost his machine gun entirely. Got him, Himmel. Almost got the field gun there, though. Ten kills. There we go. Field gun crew annihilated. Panzer with the conscript squad. Panzer can send it in a hammer into a by the T70. Stuggy went to with the T70. Field gun hold off. Panzer went to East for Tilly with the guard squad. In fact, isn't quick to move. He could get crushed it right here. No. He doesn't go for it. He doesn't go for it. I don't think Tilly might have been pent in. Fact, he just crashed him. Maybe spotted the. No, he hasn't spotted the mines. So still doesn't have mine sweepers, damn it. Cover shattered. Pani is moving up. Pants is backing up here as well. Stugi keeps providing the same point. Westwood's here. Got the assault school making small progress there for Van Ivan. Still, I think he should consider more infantry. Or maybe going for the infantry. Company simply for Maltier versus uh, Tilamisa is going for another K1. Pantor blitzing hat there. He wants that T70 dead. He wants it kaput. Pump going to deal with the field gun. He almost has it. He almost has it. But there's another field gun in the way. Uh, can he get rid of it? His Panzer is about to get knocked out. And he loses it right before he gets the T70. That T70 has caused Fnarvin an endless ocean of grief. And it is not stopping. It is the roadrunner to his wily coyote. Panzer going to score. Okay, one there. Halfway done. Panzer score. They're about to get wiped out. From the western point there, season eastern point. Hits the mine there, just laying down his own mines. Slightly ironic, I feel. Hey, Otto, looks like someone left a present for you. My god, you hide get a boom. Going the point there, and going for another MD42. That's also there, going into the with the contract of the car point. He's near the maximum, except doesn't do a ton of damage, at least there's some. Punching me up, feeling me up there in return. S mine field done there, only fuel point. And the assault squad there got wiped out. Another blow, there's a Van Ivan and the German army. Phew. I mean, this match is just hectic. Another Panzer got a squad there for Fnaven and the German army came on through the center. Perhaps this time a bit more wary of the might of the Stromgeschütz 3. Ausführung. She's moving in there, Stuggy nearby. Can't quite decide his target. Opens up in the T70, gets a small hit there. Stuggy in pursuit of the K1 and the field gun. Could risk losing it here. Needs to get the Panzer up to support. He needs to keep distance between it and K1. He can't get hope to get lucky again like the first one there. Punch is moving up there. Ah, oh, loses the stook. Stook down. I repeat, we have a stook down. 223 versus 174. Punch is moving ahead. He's pursuing the T70. Home to get that kill finally. Maybe just finish off the K1 somehow. Guard the T70 finally after so much. Casualties, blood, tears spilled. He finally puts an end to the T70. His hated foe has been ended. But at what cost? At what cost? He has lost so much in his attempt to get the T70. So many men have had their lives taken from them. The pixels spilled on the cold and unforgiving ground of the crossroads. Now let's see what Fnaven goes for next. I guess another Stuggy, maybe. 200 points left there, or less than that for Fnaven versus the 274 there of Tiramiso. Clearing out the S1 field in the east. Big push in the west with the Pioneers, MD42, and the Panzer and the Dealer. Still no minesweepers there for his Pioneers, though. I'm still a bit surprised that considering how prolific uh, Tiramiso has been with his mining. Stuggy moving westwards. Reinforcing, or at least healing, they should be reinforcing cause as well. So of course, he may be setting up for another Stoog D here to help deal with the K1. Quick shot fire there. Another shot fired, missed. Stoogie about to get knocked out. Push the conscripts.
Back to lose the MD42, grab the points there. Put a fire main down. Punch pushing head here go. Bung grenade from a sudden flank there. Could take the machine gun back here from Tiramis. So a small win for Van Iden. A small win. Grand Amy for two back then on man by Panzer. K1 moving out there. And we got another Stu G for Van Iden. Will this be the Stu G that leads him to victory? Who knows? That's what they're taking here for having the K1. With the Panzer coming from the Max Machine Gun, Gun Squad nearby, close to 23, Bung Grenade off, grenade off against the Panzer is not a Bung Grenade. Stu Gein still your repairs, and he still really should go for some minefields in those Pioneers. I am still shocked he hasn't gone for anything. Building collapsed, and I'm going to place for the Panzer to hide out in. Gun Squad ready for the Machine Gun, last grenade off, could see a wipe here. Almost got it. And got Gordon probably finished off and let's get pinned down faster than that. There you go, Panzer's coming in. And there you go, does narrowly manage to pin the squad before they really begin here. Nearly any shots on the uh, MG42 team to get that out of there. K Panzer flank the K1. One shot went through, the other one failed to penetrate. Further flank here from the south, Panzer backed up the Stu G. A small reinforcement come here to the front line for Fenarvin. Panzer is routed. Guard squad, they've routed. Storm gets shot, moves in, gets good hit. Then we got another K1 there for Tito. So another heavy tank. Machine gun routed in the end. Van Iman was too slow once more to get it out, you know, harm's way. Bring in the Pentacle to recruit once more. Get bad to line the troops nearby by the K1. Back here, troops reinforcing, healing, repairing. Lost the Panzer in the escort. Again, casualties for Van Iman remain to be, well, as always. Just doing there. Good to go. K1 number two almost done there for Tiramiso. Heading east with the Stugi. Heading east to the Stugi, looking to scout out, and there it goes. Second key one ready for Tiramisu. So definitely require more Stugs here for Fanon to have like even a remote chance against. More mines going off. The lack of mines continues to be a recurring theme, but finally, I think after too many mines being off, too many mines leaving lost, Fanon finally you know acquiesces to his men's demand for a mine sweeper. K1 moving ahead here, Fort Tiramiso. Shot fire there, Stu G moving in, good hit there on the K1 side armor. Bang and Sunday Pioneers in before two, Max and Fizing away, focusing away there. One kill red into one K moving forts there. Grab the eastern point. It's a mine. Doogie's about to get knocked out here. Pants moving up there. Good hits there. Veterans one game the Stu G. But this getting knocked out here by all the field guns moving in. Almost got the K1. Stu G being hauled back. Stu G in dire straits as well there. For Nyland's front line is steadily collapsing. Poorly made cake. And there goes Stu G knocked out by the guardsman. Panzer in trouble as well. They're trying to deal with the engineers, but instead they're getting murdered by the K1 tank. He's down to just the Stugi once more. He's got 69, 68 points left here. There's the 274 kilometers. So there you go. Another Stugi for Van Iron. Another Sturmgeschütz 3 Ausführung G. Air support coming from Tinamisa. Nothing to wipe out at this point. I think it is safe to say that Van Ivan has lost this. But he seems to still have the fighting spirit. He got 61 versus 274. He just needs to grab these some victory points. Just be that Van Ivan fast here. 
going for T34 76. Do get them repaired by at least some of the panties. Okay, yeah, let's walk down this set. Well. Mine's down. Okay, one of me up. Okay, we're going up and getting the Stu G down to half health. Good hit. Could try to target on heat or heat shield, so maybe this should be a better chance. But yeah, Stu G's about getting knocked out for that. And down two K ones. Slight hit there from Stu G. Stu G knocked out. Forty-two points left here. Best of 74. 40. For now, here is pretty much now besieged within his own base. It's the last front really left here. And now the K1s are marching around. We got 25 both flying into it. Landing close to the infantry there. K1 striking off most hits. Got a heat shield off. Lining for a bit there. Giving other troops more chance to hit with there. Go. Just more death keeps running in there. K1s flying away. The Stu G's not doing much. Infantry being obliterated. Casualties are piling up in his base. He's got 20 points left. 17 teeth and pushing from the north here. People are being slaughtered inside of Von Allen's confines here. There we go, Pantagas down, Stugi down. Five. Two. And that's it, GG, game over. So there you go, a rather wild and violent match of Camus still here on Crossroads. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned some things from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell your friends, tell your family, but don't tell enemies. This is Imperial 18 Cheers, and see you all tomorrow for another episode. Bye.